Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gibson's 92. Giving you guys the latest and exclusive content, a new music, entertainment news, and inspiration quotes by yours truly. I'm here. I didn't get a chance to see Elle Varner on tour. She just um, toured and navigated and slayed on all of the cities of her unplugged tour. And although I didn't get to see her, I'm still going to do a concert review because, like I said, with that being said, yeah. Um, overall, she has toured. Um, she went to Chicago, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia twice, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, and New York, New York. And I will say this, Elle Varner, I'm excited for new music. I am excited for a new album. And literally, I was a Elle Varner fan and part of the elevation. I will say this, I actually enjoyed seeing Elle Varner's concert. And even though I didn't get to see and go physically go to the concert, but I, overall I did get to see um, concert footage. And she performed her songs such as Refill, Not Tonight, Stop the Clock, One to Ten, Leaf, Only Want to Give It to You. And if I'm missing anything, it's okay because I have, like I said, been a long time fan, so I don't care. Um, but her stage presence, amazing. I love that she plays her guitar. And that's another thing about her. She has always been a versatile artist that really can't put El Varner, El Vizi in the box. You did. You really can't. Um, even her live vocals. Let me tell you something about her live vocals on this concert tour go around. Her live vocals are beautiful. And I actually, when she was singing, um, let's see, Refill. She kind of switched up a little bit on refill because when she was when she performs that song, she pretty much like goes like into the whole song, like she'll sing the whole entire song. But also, I like that she was singing in like acapella, like she was like saying, really singing, singing because her voice is beautiful to even listen to. She has more of like that melodic voice of an R and B diva songstress. And because I grew up with her music, her live performances have always gotten better throughout the years. Like, no, don't if catch my drift. She always slays it every time. But just something about how her stage presence and like how she can really command the stage. And I feel like even listening to um, songs like One to Ten, um, One to Ten, that was a great song. That she performed um, because I like that one in ten has like that trap jazz type of feeling, and literally I feel like as I look back into her catalog, she actually deserves to release more music, and she does deserve to even release records that have different layers. I mean, we're going to get Elle Varner at, like, her best. She, we're going to get a lot of her nostalgia at her best. I never wanted, well, to be quite honest, I never saw Elle Varner as just one kind of artist. She's really the kind of artist that, okay, let me get my dress. She actually... Is one of those musicians that can't put her in the box. We already know that. But I literally, as I was listening to her music, she's more of that R&B, soul, pop, hip hop, and acoustic feeling. That's what she is. And I'm just excited for new music from her. And even though I didn't get to see her in concert, I don't even care because I haven't pretty much, like I said, I kind of feel like this next album, 
it's going to be amazing because I already know it will be amazing. So those records that she performed, like Refill, Not Tonight, no, I'm sorry, Stop the Clock, 1 to 10, Leaf, oh, I only want to give it to you. Um, those are those records are just classic L. Varner records. Now, I shall say this. If she performed any of her new music, that's great. Good for you, sis. You perform any of your new music at your, you know, tour, on your tour, that's great for you because it's also going to give you, like I said, it just gives fans a connection of like, oh, okay, what's next? And I know sometimes it's like people when we don't really know when, like, releasing music, it's pretty much like it's going to be out for the right time. And that's what I love about musicians. I actually enjoy when the songs that they have played, you know, the songs like the hit songs or whatever songs, it really brings so much love and joy of the essence of music. So even though, like I said, this concert is more, it was more like, you know, sentimental. It was more full of joy, um, connections. Um, it was a lot of that really, you know, adventurous. And this brought a lot of people close together with the music. So that's what I really love about it. But other than that, I, I actually, like I said, I feel like Elvarna deserves to have pretty much, like I said, a new chapter in her music, you know, world. And we, and we, we as L. Barner fans, Elevation fans, we deserve to continue to connect with her with the new sound, a uh, new, I want to say, I would say like a whole new what she's been going through. And then it'll just be put into that brand new album. And when it puts into that brand new album, we're going to be like, yes, yes, indeed, hands down. But overall, I will give this um, tour a five out of five. And I actually, like I said, will say this. Girl, we love you. Elevation fans, your fans rock. We rock everybody. We will support you. And with that being said, guys, share your thoughts and your opinions. You guys with the CL Varner, let me know down below. Um, and yeah, so guys, stay tuned to the next episode get since 92. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. I'm going to give this to a 5 out of 5 because, of course, duh. I mean, pretty much. So, love y'all. Take care.